Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I have a video of products that I just, I can't. I can't use them anymore. I have tried and I just can't for various reasons. We've got the Jones Road Miracle Balm. Miracle Balm. The Jones Road What the Foundation. The Mineral Fusion Eyeshadow Trio in Stunning. The Kosa Sport Lip moisturizer and pulse the ordinary argireline solution 10 percent one love organics eye oil the jane iredale amazing matte face powder and some perfume from beauty pie <laughs> if you enjoy my content at any point please give it a thumbs up subscribe I'd love to have you um, all that stuff really does make a difference with the algorithms that lets YouTube know that maybe people do want to see my content I'm 49 years old aging naturally although I did recently dye my hair so let's jump in to these products my husband had a big problem with me going gray which I have to give him he admitted it says more about him than it does me that he wasn't ready to have a wife with gray hair that it wasn't me it was that he was feeling older and wasn't ready for that so i appreciated the honesty and that he knew himself well enough to know that for now i'm giving in we'll see how long that lasts okay the first one here is the jones road miracle balm i have the shade magic hour <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this. I did review it on my channel. I put it on half my face and I'll include this video in the description box as well as up above, but half my face did look better the half that I put this on. What this is, is a balm. It is a greasy, slippery balm. You have to break the seal. You only need the littlest bit and then you can put it on and this particular shade is described as a cool sheer bronze with silver shimmer for light to medium dark skin. I actually took a master class with Bobbi Brown herself. This is the shade she picked. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. This I have to put the top back on. Issue number one. So much essential oils in it that it's scented and I can't wear it. As you saw just from me opening it made me sneeze. That's not even on my face. Issue number two, you can't, it might pick it up on the video. I'm looking here. This particular shade, I already described the shade to you. Okay, but it does have silver shimmer. I would call it glitter. It's very fine glitter, but on my face, in any light, like natural sunlight, it looks like I have stuck sparkles all over my face. I hate the way it looks. Issue number two, the feel. It's described as the secret of no makeup makeup, a wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance skin, a light reflecting super product that's as versatile as it is simple to use. Wear Miracle Balm alone or layer on top of foundation for an instant refresh. This is so greasy and sticky. It never dries down. My hair sticks to it. It's very uncomfortable under foundation it makes the foundation really tacky and i just have to pile on uh powder Ugh, sorry that essential oil is so strong you smell it as soon as you open it if i want to wear it on top of foundation like a highlighter i have highlighters number one and number two again the scent and the stickiness and tackiness and it doesn't dry down a big key to using this product is using the least amount possible that being said, it has to go <laughs> for all the reasons I just said. I, I tried, I really tried. I can't do it. So instead, I would use the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick. There are other highlighters you could use. I selected this one because it's emollient, it's smooth. It's also the texture of a balm. I was about to say it reminds me of a lip balm. I love putting this on my lips. It's moisturizing, it feels great. It actually looks nice, but I'm gonna put it right next to the Miracle Balm, which I put the slightest bit on because I don't want to be sneezing all day. Already my nose is bothering me just from this. I'm going to put this right here. See, it looks just wet. And there, there it is right there. And it just looks like wet, glassiness, glass skin. 
it is emollient, it's smoothing, but it is not sticky or greasy. It's smoothing. It has no scent. This particular shade is Nectar. I guess it imparts a little bit of a tint to my face, which maybe, you know, if you're looking for from the Miracle Balm, you can get from this. It does come in other shades. It is absolutely beautiful. It wears gorgeous under foundation to just act as a primer. It smooths the skin. The foundation lays on top of it beautifully or on top of foundation, which I have it on today. I didn't reapply it. I applied it like four hours ago, actually. It just looks shine on your on your face, like just beautiful. It dry, my hair does not stick to it. No hair stuck to it. It doesn't even feel tacky. It feels moisturized, but only a teeny bit if I'm looking for it. Like it doesn't leave any kind of texture or anything. So this is what I would recommend. There are definitely less expensive options. I'm gonna be trying out Clover and their new highlighter. I'll let you know what I think, but Merit has a very smoothing highlighter like this. And honestly, you think, oh, I wouldn't wanna spend that much money and waste it when I could get this much product for $38. First of all, I would never get through this. You have to use the teeniest bit. This has already been lasting me so long. And let's see how much comes in here. It's a decent amount. This is going to take a while to use. And typically, you're not going to put something like this or the Miracle Bomb all over your face. You're going to put it at the highest points where you want the sheen and shine. So that is my recommendation. Okay, next, I hate to say it, it's another Jones Road product. Let me pull it up on my computer. This is What the Foundation. I have the shade Beige. What the Foundation is a tinted moisture balm meets traditional foundation, blends seamlessly into the skin, leaving you with an even fresh complexion that looks like your skin on its best days. Skin nourishing ingredients, light medium coverage. So then the shade Beige is described as a light to medium with neutral undertones. It does come in glass packaging, heavy, feels luxurious, it's really nice to have on your counter or put in a drawer. I do have to say that for her products. I mean, they fit so nicely, compactly. They're sleek. I like the cohesive packaging. This is not to bash Jones Road. None of the other products are Jones Road, so I'll move past that. Here's the texture. This one has far, far, far less essential oils. It still has a scent. Other people's have separated. Mine hasn't separated. I did buy the spatula. It's more like a spoon cosmetic spoon thing to stir it because it will get clumps of I guess oil I'm not sure that like dries and hardens and looks like it's pilling when I spread it out on my face but then as the day goes on those lumps will melt into my skin or I just wipe them off or eventually rub them in two things right there I don't like that it can separate you have to stir it I don't like that even if it's not separated, it leaves those clumps. And I've seen other people get these too. As you spread it out, they tend to end up around the perimeters of the face. So you think you've done something or your product's pilling, but it's actually something in here. Number three, well, the scent. Much more mild, but still, it's a whole lot more mild than the Miracle Bomb, but it still has a scent, which generally is not appreciated on my face. So here it is. It's a good match for me. And it does feel sort of like a whipped cream <laughs> facial product. The way to use it is take a small amount again and like tap it into your skin like you would a face cream. Use your fingers is probably the best way. It also never sets, even when I don't use a Miracle Balm under it. It goes better on top of an oil product. This has oils in it. It will pill if you use it on top of a water brace based moisturizer. Again, the texture, it never dries down. It never gets absorbed. Um, it wears off like nobody's business. It is a tinted moisturizer that doesn't stay put, that doesn't wear nicely, that is uncomfortable and heavy feeling on the skin if you use enough to get any kind of coverage. And I have dry skin and I live in a dry climate. My skin is not dehydrated. It does not suck in moisture. It is dry, which is a different thing. Um, I'm not gonna go into that now, but just to let you know, if you have dehydrated skin, your skin may love this. Mine does not, it sits on my skin. It's that teeny little bit is still tacky. Instead, what I love is what I have on my face today. It's the Iris and Romeo Best Skin Days. I have the shade five. This is a trial size that I have here. It's SPF 25. Their newer formula is SPF 30. I don't know if it was just checked again and it's really SPF 30 
or if they changed the formula, that's why I say the newer formula. I have not tried it more recently because I've had this for quite a long time. This one might be a little warm, but it's the same sort of whipped texture. Beige is more neutral, this one. But it's the same sort of whipped texture, but this one is a whole lot thinner. It doesn't get those chunky particles in it. it doesn't need to be warmed up like the Jones Road does. It also has skincare ingredients. It also has the SPF. It also is a one and done moisturizer situation. It also is a tinted moisturizer, but I get more coverage from it using less product. I get the SPF. Um, yes, it's a little golden for me, but I have it on today. I think my skin looks just fine. My skin feels moisturized with it on, but I don't have to powder. I have to powder the crap out of my face when I wear this, and then I feel like my face just looks textured because I have to put so much powder on. That stuff just sucks it in. I have to put more powder on. This wears beautifully. I love how it feels. It's dewy, and I even put it on top of the, uh, highlighter, Westman Atelier highlighter, but I don't look like I'm sweating and dewy as opposed to the Jones Road where I feel like I just look like my face is wet. Plus, like I said, it has the added benefit of the SPF. I have to blow my nose. Okay, the next product that I just kind of feel bad about actually, because I don't, well anyway, the next product is the Jane Iredale Amazing Matte powder. It's a loose finishing powder and it's described as a translucent loose powder that uses rice powder to absorb oil and eliminate shine. Can be worn under or over mineral bases. Will not dry or dull the complexion designed to provide a smooth matte finish. I don't know that it's terrible, but I just find that I never want to wear it. It has um, holes in it and then whoop, I just poured it all over my counter here. It is nice. It um, isn't completely mattifying, which is surprising to me. So it doesn't dull the skin, that part's true. It's just not as finely milled as some other products that I've used and it doesn't give me a smooth skin look like I'm looking for. I just don't find that it does anything well. It's not the worst in the world, but I never reach for it because it just doesn't do anything well. I hate to say that. Pretty much it's been in my collection for a couple of years now and I just, I never reach for it. I love, love, love my Say Loose setting powder if you're looking for a tinted setting powder and that one comes in different shades. Today, I did use the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This one does not come in different shades, but on me, I don't find that it adds tint and it looks like I could use a little more. This is mattifying and blurring. See the difference? I find this one to be a great option. I don't know about deeper skin tones and I do wish they would come out with other shades, but this is a great option. I love it for the center of the face. For the rest of my face, I would just use the Say Loose Set Setting Powder. This is the Kosas Sport Hydrolo Hyaluronic Lip Balm. Whew. I have the shade Pulse. What I do like about it is the sleek packaging. It fits in your pocket so nicely. Like if you just have a pair of shorts on or just your jeans and you wanna just take this with you, really great. The formula is great. Super comfortable on the lips. It feels really nice and moisturizing and it feels good. What I hate about it is the shape. <laughs> it is so messy. I, if I put it on like this, it's all over my lips. If I put it on like this, that's just awkward and weird. I just never do. Maybe that's how you're supposed to. Also, I can screw it up, but it never goes back down. And so I have to push it. That's just maybe particular to my particular one. That's annoying. The main reason that I cannot use this is because of the smell. It's spearmint. It doesn't make me sneeze, which fine, I could get past it, but it does make me want to vomit a little bit in my mouth. It's right under my nose. I can't wear it. I do like the shade. It's a little bit of a peachy pink, and it doesn't really have a sheen, but it has that moisturized look to it. It's really nice. If it didn't have the scent, I could get past the shape. It's so messy too. So like what I've been wearing today is, <laughs> or what I've been wearing in general is just about anything else, but something I've been loving is the Merit Beauty Lipstick. 
I have the shade Baby, and I mean the packaging is gorgeous. Unfortunately, you know, it's not the same slim, sleek as this. So I'm not gonna wear this when I go on runs, but it is really pretty. This happens to not be at all the same shade. It is a cooler brownish pink, but I don't know if you can see how nourishing this lipstick is. Like, can you see that? It has about the same finish as the lip oil or whatever this stuff is called, the lip balm, and it has no scent. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more on. It feels just about like a lip balm. And then what I also do sometimes if I wanna add a little moisture is just put on any old lip gloss, but a thinner gloss, cause this already is pretty thick. This is the Tower 28 Lip Milky Lip Balm or something. This is the shade Coconut. And I'll show you on the back of my hand what this looks like. It smells like coconut. I like this scent, but you know, you may not. You may prefer the Kosas. Ugh, I don't. I'm just gonna put a little bit on half of it so you can see how it changes up the color. I think it makes it a little more similar in shade and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on and then it also adds a little bit of a sheen. That's pretty much what I've been doing. I haven't really found a very favorite. Um, I do love the, uh, I cannot think of the name of it, but I can tell you during summer one that I often wear that reminds me at least in shade and idea of this is the Kula. They have mineral SPF lip products that I love. And I always feel like this one should have SPF in it. That's just something. If it's gonna be called Kosa Sport and you want me outside running around in it and it's a lip balm that has tint, I feel like it should have SPF. That's just something that like makes me angry about it. I feel cheated. <laughs> But I do love the uh, the Kula ones and they are comfortable. They're not quite as moisturizing, but they do feel really good. Um, and that's probably would be my replacement for summer. But otherwise, just about anything is better than that disgusting scent. Okay, the last makeup product that I have, and not to pick on Mineral Fusion in particular, this just happens to be, again, something I never reach for. The formulas themselves are fine. This is the Mineral Fusion Eye Stunning Trio. I Shadow Trio in Stunning. They are warmer colors, and that's why I got it. I thought, oh, it'll be a nice summer or fall look, and I will just swatch all three shades. They have a nice amount of pigment, nice saturation. I do like to wear an eye primer under them to keep them on all day, but it's a really nice priced, really wearable quad. I love all the shades. Well, I don't love all the shades, that's the problem. It really is more the idea of a warm palette. I won't wear it. I won't wear warm colors. I don't like the way I look in them. And that's the problem with this. It was a bad choice on my part. Like I said, not so much the formula, but it is the shade. So what I've been wearing instead, like what I have on today, which I think comes off as a summery kind of for me warmer look is the care wise it's a cream eyeshadow and this is refillable packaging so i don't have the shade name i believe this is the shade ember which is a newer shade you can see i've been working my way through it and i just use my fingers with this it is a cream that almost feels a little bit like a powder when you touch it and it's almost like it dries down to a powder once you get it on. I'm loving a cream on my eyes lately. I just am. So it's right over here. And it does have a bit of warmth. I love that it has a sheen. I have it on today. It's very subtle, looks quite natural, but it, may, you know, it still, I think, looks nice. And then I've just been grabbing any brown eyeliner. What's funny is I reached in my drawer today and pulled this one out. It happens to be Care Weiss, which I wasn't trying to mix and match or mix my match my Care Weiss products, but this is a Care Weiss eye pencil in brown. It's pretty basic with the clear plastic top, no smudgy or anything, but I do like that it has the shade back here. And this is what I've been putting in my crease. And then I tap it out. Be back here. It looks a little better. I'll show you, shall I? So I just dot a little bit, and I've shown you guys this before, but my particular eye shape, I feel like I need something in the crease to make my eyes look more open, to provide a sense of depth, which I don't have a lot of, and I have hooded lids. I don't wear an eyeshadow base um, or eye primer or anything with any of this. I do always put sunscreen on my eyelids, so it's not like my eyelids are perfectly dry, 
but it blends in. I found every eyeliner to work. You do not need the Cure Weiss. This is how I've been getting my more bronzy summer look. So if you're a person who can't really or feel that you can't do warm shades, do something like this, a more neutral, taupey kind of brown and something like a brown eyeliner pencil in your crease. I think it's been working beautifully, but that's what I would do instead of this or what I have been doing instead of this. Now for skincare, I just have um, a few products. Oh, I left one out at the beginning. Let's start with that one. The Dr. Jar... I don't know what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. I got it at Sephora. It lights up. Red light therapy, blue light. So red light for, you know, collagen and skin healing. Blue lights, I believe, for acne, or you could put it on purple for a combo. My red light works just fine. The other two I can rarely get to turn on. Not that I've tried until after I had this thing for a year or something. The main problem for me is its shape. You strap it on, which is nice. This pulls out all my hair. So the strap on situation is nice, but then it pulls out my hair. It loosens every time I have to readjust it. That's just annoying to me. I'd rather it have Velcro or something else with that's friendly to your hair. The shape doesn't work at all. I can either have it do my forehead or my cheeks or my chin. So it either has to be like this, where it's off. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. Off my chin, I can have it like this, where it doesn't touch my chin or my forehead, or I can do my chin, and then it doesn't touch the entire top of my face. So what that means is, the strap is useless because I have to hold it to my face the whole time. You don't want the red lights in your eyes. So I can't watch TV and I can't read and I can't do any of the things that this whole thing is supposed to be convenient for because I have to close my eyes because if I push it up, because it's not stuck around my eyes, it's always shining in my eyes when I hold it in the way that it's actually gonna benefit my skin. Each session, you know, it goes for three minutes at a time. So what I was doing was three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Bored out of my mind, I guess I could listen to something. You know, you can't really meditate, you can't really zone out because you gotta keep pressure. Um, I think it made a difference when I used it. I do think my skin looked better when I used it. I just resent it and I don't wanna use product that I resent. It's not enjoyable for me and I don't reach for it. It was expensive. I'm annoyed at that. I'm not annoyed at myself for getting it because I couldn't know until I used it. So now I have the Nira. This is only red light therapy. It is only approved for the under eyes. You turn it on, you push this button, you hold your skin, you push the button, it beeps when it's done, it's like beep. And then I do it to the next spot, beep. Beep, it takes less than three minutes to do both of my under eyes. I expect to see results with this. I know it's not benefiting my whole face, but I'll use it because it's quick. I see it working. It works where it's supposed to and it's faster. So that's my solution for something like this. Great idea. I've thought about looking at some of the other ones. Let me know if you've tried any of the other ones and if they actually contour your face. They look like flat sheets that then you stick on your face, but I'd still have the same problem because if it sticks, it, basically, my face goes out and then back in a little bit. I mean, not as drastic as I just showed you. So finding a mask like that that's gonna work doesn't seem like it's gonna work for me. Now let's talk about the Ordinary Argelene Solution 10%. Glass packaging, the dropper. It's a clear, liquidy product, pretty much like water. Very thin. Yeah, it feels about like water going into the skin or onto the skin. No scent. My skin does drink it up. This is a product that's supposed to be like Botox in a bottle. It does, they admit, take a long time to work, but it really is supposed to help. I don't know what it does with the muscles, how it can get that deep or what it does for the skin. I've used most of the bottle, well, a little over half, I guess, with no noticeable difference. I think it made my products that I used on top of it pill. I just, I won't use it. It it seems pointless. It's not moisturizing. It's not fun to use. I don't notice benefits from it. On the one hand, I should just continue using it. On the other hand, I think it made my other skincare products that I put on top of it pill. 
even if I waited it for it to dry down completely, which it does do, it's completely dried down. Let me know if you use this or something with Argelene in it and if you see a difference. Again, I've just been using the Nera, even out here on these crow's feet, hoping that helps. Okay, this One Love Love Eye Bright is an eye oil. Okay, it doesn't have a scent. One thing I hate about One Love is all their products have so much scent. This one does not. Glass packaging, oh, I didn't show you the roller ball. Nice, the idea of it is you just roll it along here. It should be really nice, soothing. Here it is, this clear, goopy, <laughs> thick oil. It looks like a, a lip shine, doesn't it? Like a lip gloss? Yeah, it's thick, it doesn't dry down. Maybe it's moisturizing. It made my eyes feel goopy and gross and wearing it under makeup was uncomfortable. Wearing it at night, it got in my eyes. That's just a product that's not for me and I do have very dry under eyes, but especially my inner corner, which was not a good place to put that. Cause like I said, it would just get right into my eyes. So what I love is the Indie Lee uh, Squalane Facial Oil. I've been a fan of this for years. Glass packaging dropper i'm gonna put it on now that was way too much for my eyes but ooh. but when i use this that's what was supposed to go around my eyes um you can see it still hasn't sunk in still crazy shiny and greasy now the indie lee squalane see where i've rubbed it in and how just moisturized i don't even know if you can see yeah, just moisturized, um, it's not greasy, it sinks in. So what I do is put a drop of it on the back of my hand, dab my ring finger in, and just press it in around my eyes where I want it. It locks in the moisture, it sinks in, it doesn't run into my eyes. It's absolutely beautiful, doesn't irritate me. I have found that the, um, I will put it on the screen because I cannot think of the name. It's in a green container, you can buy a thing this big of it from Sephora, which I love because Squalane oil is amazing. It's good for oily skin. Your body naturally produces squalene. Squalane is the vegetarian version of squalene. Squalene usually comes from sharks, and so this is from olive oil. My point being, other squalanes do irritate me. I break out in little hives, basically. I would not want that near my eyes. I seem to be the only person I know of that this happens to with squalane. But Squalane is amazing. I love it for everything. And it is one of the only products that I can consistently use. This particular Squalane, this brand, that I can consistently use around my eyes without irritation. I keep knocking the table. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, look at this is still, ugh. Let me know if you use this One Love Organics product under your eyes, around your eyes, and how, how you can tolerate it. <laughs> because I love a moisturizing product around my eyes. That is, oh no, that's not everything. I have two perfumes from Beauty Pie. This will teach me. You can't sample them first. I am a member of Beauty Pie, so I got a great discount on the everything. So I wanted to try perfumes. This one, this Figuier de Dalmati, made in Paris. Beautiful, I love the scent. I'm not gonna smell it. I know I loved it, I don't remember. I think it's a little sweet. And this one, Angelique's Letters, also made in France, was a specialty fragrance that was really interesting and complex. I didn't love it as much as this one, but I did like it. Both make me sneeze. Now, natural, not natural, all of that stuff doesn't matter for me and my sensitivities. Typically, I tend to be more allergic and more reactive to essential oil scented products. So I thought these would work. No. What has worked is a new collaboration that Proven, the cosmetic, not cosmetic, skincare cosmetics? Proven Skincare has a new collaboration for perfume and their collaboration is called Noteworthy. You go onto the website, fill out a questionnaire about what scents you like. It's very much based off of, or very similar to their skincare quizzes, but it's for scents. I don't even know what I like. 
they send you a couple that you can select yourself from the ones that they pick out after asking you the questions, and then they throw in a couple wild cards that you, they think you may like. So this one came with three different scents. This particular one is number 307. It's the trial size, and I believe I got a coupon with it if I wanna purchase a full size. I love the scents that they selected for me. Yes, I can be a little reactive to them, but not to the point that I am with the Jones Road Miracle Balm or with the other two scents I just showed you. I highly recommend this if you are looking for a personal scent or just love perfumes and want to try new perfumes. <laughs> I've really, really enjoyed this. I'm finally able to wear scent. I don't think I've ever gotten through this much perfume, even of a trial size. I know, what was I doing buying this? But I want to say it was like $13. I could be totally off. But it was so inexpensive that I thought, oh, I'll try it. Bad idea. Okay. That is everything. Again, please leave a comment, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and let me know what products you just can't use, that you just have in your collection, you've had forever, you can't make yourself use them for whatever reason. I'd love to know. And as always, let me know if you want me to try something or do a review on something. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today.